Welcome to the Daily Tanya. This is for Tuesday, Tisha B'Av, the ninth day of Av. As Ad Hashem, these days should be turning into a holiday very soon with the coming of Mashiach. And as it says, Tzien B'Mishpat Tipadeh V'Shavea B'Tzedakah, that Hashem will redeem Tzien, Zion, with Mishpat, with studying Torah, and return its captives with Tzedakah. So let's begin with Tzedakah. It's good to increase in tzedakah. And today we are concluding the first letter in the Egeres HaKadosh, in this fourth part of the Tanya. And in this letter, the Alter Rebbe spoke about strengthening the faith. The faith needs to be strengthened, and how is it done? Through studying the Torah, and specifically also through the prayer, that the prayer should be something uh, we should invest and concentrate in the prayer, prayer with, to pray with the heart and so on, to put, uh, to invest in the prayer should be proper. So this is the conclusion of this letter, the Alter Rebbe talks practically to the community that the Alter Rebbe established. They should uh, set, uh, make sure that those who lead the prayers are those who have the time. The should, should, prayer shouldn't be rushed. Uh, should be uh, chosen those people who can pray properly. If people don't have time, they're rushing. They shouldn't be leading the prayer. And also, the Alter Rebbe gave clear instructions. And he said that he will actually send spies among the communities to make sure if someone does not follow these instructions, they will not be welcomed when they come here to study Torah, to start to hear the Hasidic teachings. So, al Rebbe was wanted to make sure that this is that what we study should be actually implemented in practice, in actual practice. That's what that's what it's all about. The same thing here with Tisha B'av. The ninth day of Av is a day of mourning. We pray, we cry. But by the Rebbe, the focus was mainly in the building, the focus to focus what we can do in increasing Avas Yisrael, studying Torah, studying about the Beis HaMikdash, and so on. So let's see what the Alter Rebbe says in this last part of the first letter in the Geras HaKodesh, says the Alter Rebbe. And now, once more, I put forth my hand, the second time with an additional explanation. And the twofold request extended and propose to all men of the Hasidic Brotherhood, those who are near and those who are far, to undertake the following. On all weekdays, businessmen who do not have so much time should not step down before the ark to lead the congregation in prayer. Only those who have time to pray in length, only those who have the time should lead the prayer, such as teachers or those who are supported by the parents. Who at the morning service they are able to pray at length for at least about an hour and a half on all weekdays. And one of them should step down before the ark chosen by a lot or by consent of the majority of the congregation. And says the Alter Rebbe, who Yesif Elu Besoviv and he should gather around him all those 
who are supported by their parents or teachers who are able to pray at length like himself. And will thus not be distracted by the haste of others. This arrangement is not to be changed, I beg and beseech you. That's during the weekdays. Now, during the Shabbos and holidays, the Alter Rebbe says, then those business people can also lead a prayer, and on the contrary, they are more inquired to spend more time to study, to pray, than other people, people who, who pray all, all week long and study all week long. Those who are busy working all week long, so Shabbos is a day of rest, but Shabbos is a day of spiritual um, reviving. They need to, Shabbos is a day that we need to use out spiritually to Hashem. On the Sabbath and festivals, however, when all the businessmen too have the time and opportunity to pray at length, devoutly concentrating their hearts and soul to God, Moreover, their duty to do so is much greater, as is stated in Shulchan Aruch HaRachayim. So the Shulchan Aruch, that those who work all week long, they have to devote the Shabbos to Hashem. As it is written in the Torah of Moshe, of Moses, six days, shall you work, and the seventh day is a Sabbath unto the Lord your God. Daike Kuloil Hashem, stating clearly that the Sabbath is to be devoted only unto God. So this is unlike the festivals. Festivals is given partially to God, partially to enjoy yourself. A Shabbos is more a time devoted to Hashem. And the Shabbos and festivals, therefore, they too can step down before the ark to lead the services. According to the lot, or by assent of the majority, as I wrote last year. And now continues the Alter Rebbe, notifying the people that is planning to send spies secretly to make sure that these things is enforced. Moreover, it should be made known that God willing, it is my intention to send spies secretly to all congregations. To find out and to notify about anyone who has the ability and the time to worship at length and to meditate while at a prayer, but is slothful, is lazy, not doing so. So such people, says that the Rebbe, they will not be welcomed here. He shall be punished by an estrangement, estrangement, being distanced by both hands when he comes here to hear Hasidic teachings. And from the negative, you may infer the positive, that those who are more generous in the time they devote to their prayer will be assured of a warm welcome. Pleasant be the lot of those who hearken. May the blessing of goodness, of goodness, light upon them. And there is no good but Torah. This is the end of this letter of encouraging us 
learning the uh, the Torah, the oral law, and um, the proper uh, the proper way of praying, and so on. And we should actually enforce it. And this is something we should do each one, each and every one by themselves. And as that the Shem should be Zaycha, that these days should be turned into holidays with the coming, the building of the base of Migdash Ashlishi very soon. Have a wonderful day.